McBroom has decided to put those same attributes to use on the gridiron this fall as a running back and receiver in the Viking offense. Before Austin would clock in 7 million followers on Instagram, nearly 20 million subscribers on YouTube with almost 3.8 billion channel views, also another 1.7 million followers on Twitter at the time of this recording. This has just been an amazing journey as a parent. For those people that don't have kids yet, this is definitely the best experience of life. Before Austin McBroom and Catherine Pace would get married in a private ceremony. I didn't even tell, like we didn't really tell our family. Like I told my dad, I called him on the phone. I was like, hey, like we're getting married like this week. And you know, some of them were upset. They were like, oh, like I, I at least want to be there. But we didn't want people to be there because we didn't want to make it almost like a big real. Deal. We, yeah. we didn't want to make it like a big deal yes. because we want our ceremony to be the big deal. Yes. Austin McBroom and the Ace Family YouTube channel is one that needs little introduction. Now be it for viral videos documenting the family's heartwarming moments or the drama that surrounds the young couple, well they've clearly left their mark on the internet. But you clicked on this video to find out more about Austin previous to all the fame and fortune. And for this video, we found some previously unsurfaced video footage of Austin McBroom from back in high school as well as in college. We also found some old family photos and who knew that once upon a time he was trying to pop off on Vine, for real. That one girl who thinks she's cute, but she's really not. Girl, I don't care what he says, I'm cute. He just be hating. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden back at it again with another Before They Were Famous video. Now this show, it works off requests from you guys, so be sure to let us know who to feature next in the comments down below. Also hit that like button because it's good for the algorithm. Links to my social media are down below. All right, now let's get into this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Austin McBroom was born on May 20th, 1992 in Palmdale, California to Alan and Mikhail McBroom. Now his parents, they were actually athletes in their own right. My family is a big, big sports family and uh, my mom, she grew up playing softball. My pops grew up playing football and baseball. And uh, ever since I grew up, they kind of pushed me towards the whole sports thing. Now Austin, he has one biological brother named Landon as well as two stepbrothers. And his parents, well, they're now separated. Now his parents, they were an interracial couple, and when Austin later faced criticism about some old racist tweets, well, his mom, she had this to say. Our family is international. Every possibility, it's in there. When you go to our family functions, what are they? Every nation is there. So we can't claim any one nation, we actually have to claim them all. Growing up in Palmdale, California, well Austin, he was a natural athlete and he was good at basketball, baseball, and football. Now Austin attended Campbell Hall School, a private school in North Hollywood that specialized in sports, but to get there, well he'd have to drive an hour every day there and back. My parents weren't comfortable with me going to a public school. They wanted me to go somewhere with high academics and um, to set me up for the future as far as like sports wise and Campbell Hall was great. They had great academics and great sports. Um, so that is why I drove an hour every day to school. It was a mission. Now the commute, it was worth it. And even at a school that was highly regarded for its roster of sports stars, well, Austin, he stood out as a starting point guard and he even made the local news. On the basketball court, Campbell Hall's Austin McBroom has always looked at home. His coming out party came as just a freshman when he poured in 30 points in the 2008 State Division IV title game, leading the Vikings to victory. Now in his junior year, he's firmly established as one of the region's top point guard prospects, possessing a unique combination of speed, balance, and vision. In his freshman year, he played alongside Jeru Holiday and he won a Division IV state championship. Now his dad, he favorited football and baseball, so Austin, well he just kept playing an array of sports. Well actually, I've always wanted to play football ever since I was a little kid. I enjoy running the ball, um, I enjoy catching the ball, I enjoy just having a blast with the teammates on the, on the field and off the field. Just the whole love of the game. Now we found that baseball, it was too slow and out of fear of getting tackled and injured on the football field, well he ended up focusing the majority of his energy into basketball and in his senior year at Campbell Hall, well he had an average point score of 25.1 points per game. When it came time to go to college, well Austin, he had a one year stint with the Central Michigan Chippewas and that was on a full ride scholarship. 
Now Austin played in 31 of 32 games and he started in most of them and he led the team in assists with 2.9 per game. He also averaged over 10 points a game, 10.9 to be precise. It also earned him a spot in the Mid-American Conference All-Freshman team. But with Michigan failing to have a successful season, will his coach Ernie Ziegler, he got fired, and then Austin, well, he would be forced to switch schools. I feel like it's a, it's kind of a new start, a new adjustment. I feel like one of the, this, this next decision is definitely going to be a, a very important decision in my life. You know, I can't, can't really change to another school after I make this decision. Basketball is my life, so I gotta do whatever I gotta do to make sure what the best opportunity is for me and uh, to move on. It sounds like a tough adjustment, but you gotta do what's best for you, and since basketball is your life, you just gotta be ready to do anything for it. He later attended two other universities, playing 66 games in two seasons with the St. Louis Billikens, and he also played his fourth season of college basketball with the Eastern Washington Eagles. Now his career high 37 point score was against the Northern Colorado team, and that was back in 2016. Now Austin, he cited difficulties with his various coaches severely impacting his progress, even though he had earned a place among the top scorers in the country. Now during his go at professional sports, while well, Austin, he also managed to maintain a 3.9 grade point average, and he majored in communications. And on top of all this, while well, he was also dabbling in the world of social media, where he would post to Twitter, Vine, and Instagram. And of course, well, we found some old clips. Why is it so hard to find someone who's cute, smart, funny, and loyal? I don't get it. I think I'm gonna just start dating animals. Yeah, why not? All right, now we're getting to the lovey-dovey stuff. Now in 2015, Austin began dating Catherine Pays. Now the two, they met at a party, but they had already been acquainted for a couple of years. Now the two, they chatted it up, and close to a month later, well, Austin, he texted Catherine, asking her to go to dinner and a movie. Now initially reluctant to hit the town with Austin, well, something told Catherine to venture outside of her comfort zone. The two then had sushi at Nobu restaurant in Malibu, and clearly, well, things worked out. I texted him and I said, thank you for tonight. You did, you did, you're right. Purposes and I good. remember saying that, because I remember getting home and I was like, wow, I came, I went out of my comfort zone and I went out with this guy, and I actually really had a good time. And I, and I came home and I was kind of like happy. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, Which is crazy because on my end, what I thought was... It went bad? No, I, I thought it went great. But from your, from what I, yeah, from your perspective, I thought that you didn't really have a good time because of the fact after I dropped her off, like she said, she texted me saying she had a good time. I'm not sure what I said. But after that day, I didn't hear from her for about a week. And I was like, yo, what's going on? No, it didn't take long for the two to have some unexpected news when Catherine became pregnant with their first child, Elle, who was born in 2016. Now at the time, Austin, he was finishing his final year at East Washington, and Catherine, she discovered that she was eight weeks pregnant. Now they were living off his basketball scholarship, not a lot of money, especially for a young couple who was expecting, but the two stuck it out, or the three, and all of a sudden the baby was on its way. Come out right now, come out right now, play basketball daddy, come out. Whoa, we're close now. After the birth of their daughter, they used the initials from each of their first names to start the Ace Family YouTube channel. And the first video, it starred all three of them, and today it boasts over 12 million views. If you want to see more footage of what they were like in their very first video, take a look at this. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our first Q&A. You guys sent us a bunch of questions that we picked out. And... Oh wait, hold up. My toes are showing. <laughs> now, previous to this, the two had both been active on social media, but they were unaware of how profitable a bumping YouTube channel could be. Now, as soon as they started, they were off to the races, and the young couple, they struck a nerve with the YouTube audience, and they were all of a sudden clocking in 1 million subscribers in April of 2017, then 2 million a couple months later, and they reached 14 million YouTube subscribers by the end of 2018. It's been a long day. Um, about to go watch Breaking Bad. Again, for the third time. <laughs> yeah. And built themselves an empire. They got apps, they got merch, they got it all. They got mansions, they got cars. They're hanging out with the Kardashians. They did well. Now, if you want to know more about their net worth, well, you can check out our The Rich Life video we dropped sometime last year. The interior is crazy. Okay, but I want to ask you something. Do you think it's too much? Like, do you think it's too, too much? much? Like, blue on the inside, blue on the outside? Yeah, man. Too much is my middle name. <laughs> This is what I love. You know how loud I am. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're going to wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCready. We make all sorts of biography videos here on this channel, so be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!